This is an example of what the top row metrics might look like for a safety pillar. The three graphs on the top row represent metrics. A metric is a fancy word for something that's being measured at regular intervals. In the case of the balanced scorecard, we stop and update the data on our top metrics every month. The graph shows us the target, the straight line on the run chart with an arrow indicating whether we need to be above or below the target line. The target line might be horizontal, like the ones on the graph, or they might be sloped up and to the right or down and to the left. Every target line should have an arrow. No matter what type of graph we're observing, we need to know what the target or target condition is. For each month, the target allows us to see how we're performing. The targets we have in our top row should be linked to the team above us. If they aren't linked to the team above us, our performance won't support their performance. This is known as misalignment. Like your car's wheels and frame, a misalignment will cause more friction, wear, and tear on the organization. The top row metrics help us to recognize, organize, and prioritize our problem-solving efforts. We know that we have many problems surfacing now and that we're equipped to solve them. The balanced scorecard helps us to prioritize the most important ones. These are known as our top three problems. Before I talk about the top three problems row on the balanced scorecard in detail, let me first point out that the top row metrics will be the first indicator for us. A missed target in the top row shows us an area in our operation that is problematic. It doesn't show us exactly what the problems are that are contributing to the missed target. We'll need to decide that as a team.